So we've got the three measurements of the hub, but rear hubs tend to be non-symmetrical. So I'm going to go through how to get the two different values for the centre of flange left and the centre of the flange right. So first of all you measure the distance between the lock nuts, uh, so which in this case is uh, 120, and then half of that will be the distance between, or the centre point between the lock nuts and then we need the distance from there to the left flange and then from there to the right flange. And we can use the logo as a marker point and if there is no logo then you can use a pen and mark it that way or you can if you're worried about marking your hub you can put a bit of masking tape and put your mark on there and once you've found the centre then you measure from the centre to the left flange and then from the centre to the right flange Not the centre. So if you measure from there to the flange, and usually the the centre to the left flange will be a little bit larger than the centre to the right flange. So hubs like this where either the, the fixed sprocket or where the, the cassette or the block will be placed will mean that the, the wheel will be dished not centred between the flanges but between the centre of the lock nuts so have it. <laughs>